Hello there, I'm Amanda Clausen, one of the librarians here at Gumberg Library, and I'm here to talk to you about citing on your poster. You're probably quite familiar with citation when it comes to writing research papers. Providing bibliographic information for the sources you use is required to avoid plagiarism, certainly, but it's also required so that others can locate the sources you used and use those sources themselves. Citing is an important part of scholarly communication, and it's an important aspect to your research posters. We know that space is in a premium at your research posters. It's definitely a challenge. And it may seem like a good idea to just skip citation altogether in order to free up some additional space. But please don't do that. Those who are judging the posters will look for your citations and a lack thereof could be the difference between winning or losing a prize. So what do you cite? At any time that you use anyone else's words or ideas or a graphic or a chart that they made, you need to cite them. Since this poster is about your original research, you may not cite that many works. However, depending on what type of research you did, you may cite a lot. It just depends. So how do you cite? Picking the citation style that works for you, you need to pick the citation style that works for your discipline. If you need help picking that out, go to Gumberg's Citing Your Sources Guide, which is right here. In general, APA is used for psychology and other social sciences, as well as nursing. MLA is used in the humanities. AMA is used for medical research, and the Chicago Manual of Style is used for many disciplines, including history. Where you put your citations is up to you, but I would recommend the bottom right-hand corner. When people go through your poster, this is the last place their eyes will land. The font can be smaller than the rest of your poster, but it shouldn't be so small as to be illegible. In-text citations should also be included after every sentence that contains the work of others. You can either use superscript numbers or the author's last name to list your in-text citations. In-text citations should also be used for charts, graphs, and pictures that don't belong to you. As you can see here in the poster I have made, I've highlighted the in-text citations in yellow. You don't have to do that. I just did this to make it easier for you to read. Um, as you can see, I chose to use the author's last name, but a superscript would work just as well. My citations are also in the bottom right hand corner in a font size smaller than the text of the poster, but still legible. It's kind of small on a computer screen, but your poster will be sort of bigger than that. Citing takes up a bit of extra space, but it's important that you include it. It can make your poster richer, more professional, and a part of the scholarly conversation we are all having here at Duquesne. Best of luck making your posters. And if you need any, and you, if you have any questions, all you have to do is go to, let me show you. On the library's website, almost every page has an info and help button. So if you click on the info and help button, it takes you to a place that shows many ways you can get help from librarians. You can ask Gumberg here in this chat. So you can chat with someone from 8.30 to four. Uh, you can also email us at ask.duke.liveanswers.com. You can call us text us, and what may be extremely useful for you when you're making your poster is you can make an appointment very easily with one of the librarians. Simply by pressing this make an appointment button, all the available librarians come up in a list. So if you wanted to make an appointment with me, you could select a week to make a day to make an appointment. The new nearest available is Thursday, March 4th at 8.30 a.m. I'm very busy this week, um, but 
you could set up an appointment with me and I could help you with your poster citations if you needed. Um, you can also contact the Writing Center for help with citations. They are also experts in this. So all that being said, um, citations in your poster are very important and should definitely be included. So I hope that you have a great time making your poster. And if you have any questions, please send them my way. Best of luck.